Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. I welcome you on this platform again today in Jesus' name. If you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I am a man of God. By the grace of God, I'm a called apostle of Jesus Christ. And the Lord instructed me to set up this platform for the deliverance of many. The Lord instructed me to set up this platform for the liberation of many. And if you're seeing this video for the very first time, you're seeing me on your screen for the very first time, I believe this is an encounter. God wants us to meet together. God wants you to, you know, be a benefactor of this awesome grace that is deposited in me. The Lord says, I should tell you today, the prophetic word for today is that the cycle is broken. God says, the cycle is broken. Now, I want you to watch to the end of this video because God gave me specifics. There are three specific categories of people I'll be prophesying to. And I'm hoping that you fall in one of those categories. And what cycle is at work, what demonic, um, um, satanic strategy has put to enforce a demonic cycle that is, you know, affecting your life. And I'll tell you how to break those cycles. But first of all, let me start by saying, and from time to time, you see me putting my head down, I wrote some notes down so that I can give you clearly and exactly what the Lord told me, and I don't just want to beat around the bush. Everywhere God is, there is movement. Everywhere God is, there is movement. As a matter of fact, one of the signs that God steps into a place is that he moves you from that place where you are. He moves you from that circumstances and sets you in another place. The Bible says that if you're in Christ, you're a new creation. All things have passed away. You notice that in other words, paraphrase, what it means is that you have moved from a place. When you accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your life, you get moved from, a, from the old life to a new life. Every time God is involved in a man's life, you would see visible movements. Glory to God. When God is involved, I said, there are movements. And, and I want to read Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 3 to you. The Bible says that you have compassed this mountain long enough. You have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward. This is God speaking and I believe that God is speaking these same words to you. You have dwelled in that place long enough, in that mental space long enough. You have been in that place of torment, that place of depression, that place of anxiety. You have been in singlehood long enough. You have been in financial depression long enough. And God is saying a grace is coming upon you today that will move you from where you are to where you are supposed to be. Be in destiny in the name of Jesus. By the virtue of this prophetic word, the Lord is saying, as you watch me and you see and you hear my, the sound of my voice, God's power will be transmitted through these waves into your destiny to pull you out of that place where you are, out of that sad place, that obscure place where you are, into the place of your divine rest. The Bible tells us of Mephibosheth. I love the story. And if you've been on this platform for a while, you should have heard me speak about it two or three times. Mephibosheth was born to be in the king's palace. He was the grandson of, this, of King Saul. He was the direct son of, uh, of Jonathan, who was the son of Saul. Now, he was born into royalty. He was born into priesthood. But circumstances in life pushed him to a place called Lodeba. The Bible says that Mephibosheth began to stay in a place called Lodeba. A place of shame. Lodeba means a place of shame. Lodeba means a place of shame. Does that story reflect your story? Yes, you feel like you were born to experience something better. But you don't know why you have been relegated. You have been pushed to a side. You don't know why and how you even got to that space. God says that that cycle is broken. And this is why God is bringing this word now. Because 2022 will be the beginning 
of a new era, both for the world and for your family. Yes, God doesn't want you to move into the new year with the same old baggages, the luggages that you carry, the weight that you carry, weight of anger, anger because of your previous life and the experiences you have had. God wants to move you to a place of peace, a place of soundness, a place where his glory is revealed through your life in an un un unimaginable way. Hallelujah. I want you to stick now. I, I, I will begin to share with you the three specific categories that God says the cycle is broken. And I want you, as you hear this, and it resonates with your case, as you hear this and you believe in your heart that you are one of them, I want you to shout amen with the voice of the thunder. You are going to say amen. You are going to connect yourself to this prophetic word. And listen to me. It is better you do it and nothing works then you had to do it for something to work and you ignored it you better do it and then nothing works then you ignore it and it's the voice of the lord and it, it carries your deliverance number one category that the lord says the cycle is broken is marital cycle there is somebody you're watching me you have had several encounter marital encounters maybe you've gone through your first broken marriage you've gone through the second broken marriage and you just it looks like you have a star to meet the wrong partners it's a cycle the enemy wants to keep you going back and forth and never enjoy the bliss of marriage and the blessings that god has put in that glorious union but i speak as a, an apostle of jesus christ i speak as a man in authority by the power in the name of jesus that cycle is broken today there is somebody still on this cycle of marriage you meet good people but the relationship doesn't move to the next level every time it's getting close to marriage something happens and it gets broken down something happens and it gets broken down the lord says i should declare to you that that demonic cycle has been broken yes you are now connected to somebody i hear the name like francis you are not connected to somebody i hear a name like francis and the lord is saying that that demonic cycle will not repeat itself and every one of you that experiences the same thing god is saying in the name of jesus that cycle is broken the second category um, that god is breaking that cycle is financial cycle financial cycle there is somebody you're watching me right now and this is actually what happens there is evil occurrences in your life that drains your finances solomon said solomon said my father david could not build a house for god why he said because there were many wars and then there were evil occurrences First of all, there were many wars and there were evil occurrences. Evil occurrence means that when something good wants to happen, something bad happens that takes their attention. Probably you just received your promotion, you got sick. Yes, you just touched your first $10,000 and then a job will come, maybe you bought your car. And you take all the money and invest in the evil occurrence at the edge of your breakthrough that drains you off your finances. The Lord says, I should declare over your life, it is broken in the name of Jesus. The third category are demonic cycles of curses. There are some people you are watching me right now. In your family, there are certain occurrences that you can clearly see that, hey, this actually moved from my great-grandfather to my grandfather to my father, and it's gradually happening to me. The Lord says it is broken in the name of Jesus. It is broken. Now, this specific prayer is to break that curse, is to break that cycle. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, let that demonic cycle be broken by the power of the anointed. In Jesus' name, I declare you're free. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. On the description of this video, you will see my email and many other important information that you will need to get connected to my ministry. Make sure you connect yourself to this prophetic word in words and in deeds. Make sure you are greatly connected to this word. And God is going to fulfill his part in your life. In Jesus' name, the Lord bless you. Shalom.